If you plan to add social login, social shares, and social counters to your WordPress site, I have the plugin for you. It's called WP Social, and it's super easy to implement. On this video, we're going to go ahead and review the lifetime deal that's going on right now, so you can decide if you like it or not. So let's go jump over to my desktop right now. What's up, everyone? It's time to review WP Social, which is on a lifetime deal right now. Now, be aware that if you already have a theme that includes social login, social shares, and all that good stuff, then you definitely can skip on this, all right? Now, if you plan to add social login to your WordPress site, like the one you're viewing right here, social shares, social counters, then definitely check this out. Now, the lifetime deal is going on right now starts off at $39 for five sites, which I think most of us will skip on that, especially if you have more sites or Maybe you're that type of person that just has one or two sites and you don't even plan to add more sites, then you're good to go with this plan. But if you're an agency or have several sites, this is the unlimited plan, which is what I would recommend if you plan to grab this. All right. Now, let's see my WordPress site. I already have the plugin installed, added my license. But before I show you how to use it, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, I do recommend that you check out Hostinger. Link provided in the description. Go to hosting, web hosting. And I'm going to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code. So they have several plans for share hosting, but we're going to show you the most popular one. So let's go ahead and choose this plan. And once you're here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, and you are good to go for 48 months. All right. Now, this is the current price. But if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172. So if you plan to grab a hosting plan, use my coupon code. All right. So for the WP social plugin, like I said, it's already installed here and you have three main points, which is login, share and counter. All of these count with the embed short code. That means that we can embed this everywhere. Now, by default, it will add it to the places where you need it. But like I said, they have the short code in case you want to add it somewhere else. All right. Now, first off for login, you have several settings here in the beginning, which are the global settings. Um, go ahead and check these with calm. We are not going to go in through that. We're going to go in through the providers. Now, if you ask me, this is the only part that's a bit complex. If you add me, if you ask me to add the social login, why? Because some of these require settings, for example, with Facebook, the app ID and the app secret. Plus, you got to get these approved from Facebook, which is not hard because I mean, if you're doing everything right, it should be OK. All right. Now, for some of the others, it's super easy to implement. For example, buttons, you got the button text right here and the usage. If you want to embed it somewhere else, just the Facebook one, right? The other one is like the global embed. And this one is just like Facebook. For example, I did add GitHub, which is super easy to implement. So if I go to my social login right here, I can if I go to Facebook right now, it's not going to work because I just enabled it, but I didn't add the API app ID and the secret, right? But for GitHub, I did. So if you click on it, boom, it's going to take you to the GitHub login. I log in and it should take me to my WordPress site. All right. Using my email ID from GitHub. So it's it's a great way to add more ways to people for to register and log into your site. All right. Now, these are the providers that they have as of now. They're the most popular ones. So I think you should be good with this. But in case you need more, then you need to contact development to add more. All right. The style settings. These are the styles. So right now, this is the one that's using by default. There's different styles that you can select right here, but you don't have editing options. OK, so if you select this one, you can change, for example, I don't know, the corners, make them more rounder, less rounder, different colors. You only can select what you have available right here. OK, so do consider that for these settings and the whole thing from WP Social, right? Next is the social share. So social share, again, you got the basic setting right here and the short codes in case you want to embed this somewhere else, which I'll show you in a bit. I'm going to embed them all in a single page to show you how they look. Right. Next providers. So again, you can enable the providers right here in providers. These are different settings. For example, for Facebook, you can set the default share counter. So if you want to modify it there and add your own, say it's 100 shares already, you can add it there. The text below number. So it's, it's shared. Does it say something else? Label name, Facebook and the old count. Right. So these can reset with the old count depending how you set it up. Right. And these are the providers that they have available. You can just turn these on or off, depending if you want to display them or not for the share. All right. And then you have the style settings for this. Again, several styles available. You can't modify these. Like I said before, you can just select it. For example, it's like the ones that you want to use. Go ahead and save it. And this should appear over there. And you have the fixed display also. So if you like these better, then go ahead and select this one. So you have primary content and fixed display. All right. So for example, I'll do a floating one and that's also like that one. This one, go ahead and save it because I want to show you how it looks. All right. So 
let's go ahead and check these out let's go into a post but i'm gonna embed them all right so i'm gonna grab this short code right here uh, there we go and i'm gonna go into a post i'm gonna add a new post now remember if you're using any theme etc it's going to work all right so i'll just say test test and here in the audit block for short code if you're using Divi, if you're using Elementor, they all have short codes, all right? So I'm going to publish this right now and show you how these look, all right? So let's view the post. And here it is. Here they are embedded because that's the style that I selected. Here's the hover on that I selected also, but it's super easy to implement. Now, if you want to embed these somewhere else, like that's how you do it with the short code, all right? So super easy to implement. Then we have the social counter. In social counter, you got the cache hours. So it resets, I don't know, every 12 hours, 10 hours, 5, etc the font family and again short codes if you want to add this somewhere else aside from the default showcase all right then you got your providers here you can enable these for example for Facebook it's going to ask you for the page ID which I did and then you got your text below it's going to be the fans label it could be something else if you want to name it instead of fans something else but it's super easy to implement you got options for all of these all right for example let's go ahead and embed these really quickly to show you how they look let's go into post let's edit this one go ahead and remove these add these let's go ahead and update it and let's go ahead and preview this here we go now you can see his fans 1400 fans for this one and i haven't set up x and pinterest right so they see zero followers because i haven't added the information i only added for facebook but you can enable these and not add the information which i don't think is a good idea but it, again it's not gonna ask for anything complex it's super easy to add for example for the providers if I want to add X, then it's going to ask for the access token. You can get the access token really easily for Pinterest. It's going to ask for the username and that's how you're going to add them. And it's going to bring in that information for the amount of followers that you have. So super easy to implement. And you also have the comments and the post settings right there. And then you've got your settings, modules and things that are super um, basic, nothing fancy about it. But basically that is WP social. So if you ask me that this is worth it, the first thing I'm going to say that if you're using themes that already include social login, social shares, etc., you can definitely skip on this one. The good thing I like about it is the unlimited plan where you can implement this on any site, even if you have if you, even if you don't have a theme that already includes it. In that case, I would recommend this. Now, are there better ones? I do think there are better ones, but for this price, you're not going to get something better. Right. So do consider that. And that's a wrap for this video.